From last game against Atlanta, back from the Copa America is Omar Valencia at the left outside back position in the midfield. Mohamed Sofo back in action as well as Ibrahim Kusule. Kusule last year led the club with 15 goals on the season. Look for him to link up with Ross Perot and Julian Hall, who both had goals in the win against Atlanta United. Orlando City B is led by Manuel Goldberg in his first season. He'll have his club in a 4-2-3-1. Just two changes from last week in is Wilfredo Rivera, also Utara Sukata. The last time these two teams met, Sukata had a brace. Sukata does have four goals on the season. The 25th overall selection out of West Virginia. Look for him to connect with Shaq McCohamed, who leads the club on the season with seven goals on the year. Our referees tonight, J.C. Griggs, will be from MSU Soccer Park in Montclair, New Jersey. Second and final meeting. Well, Muhammad got his head to that. And then off the volley was Wilfredo Rivera. Now an opportunity for the Red Bulls on the other way. It's Julian Hall. Hall slots it by, but not through. Hall wins the ball back for the Red Bulls. Kasule. And this will go to the spot. New York was upset that it wasn't called the first time against Julian Hall. Then Ibrahim Kasule was tripped up. Here's the first one that they were disappointed in the no call. Second one, a clear foul on Gusky. Gusky can't escape that. You have to think, Ibrahim Kasule is going to take this PK on the season. New York Red Bulls perfect from the spot, eight of eight. The only team better, Chicago, who is nine of 11 coming into the game. In his career, Ibrahim Kasule, nine of nine from the spot, three of three from the spot so far this year. Sofo currently holding on to the ball. You have to think that Ibrahim Kasule will take this. Old Mitchell has a few PKs on the year as well. Great piece as Kasule will walk off. And Sofo will take this. Sofo does have three goals on the season. Fourth and assist with six as he looks to get the first goal for the Red Bulls. Sofo, and he's denied! First miss PK of the season for the Red Bulls. Coming up big. Sofo went to the right. Oh, it hit off the post. And there is the final whistle. The best chance of the first 45 minutes coming from the spot. We'll see if Orlando City B can catch New York Rebels out of balance. And we are underway here in the second half from MSU Soccer Park in Montclair, New Jersey. Josh Toll with you. Solis. Freeman will take this. Freeman with the shot off the post. A great looking strike by Freeman. Freeman does have two goals on the season. A great strike here by Freeman. Nearly got it. Berkeley. Gives it right back to Sofo, chips it up, off the post, and a follow-up is in, and it's Tanner Rossboro! One nil, Red Bulls lead. Rossboro has scored in three straight games. Patience here from New York. Berkeley, right back to Sofo. Can't get it to go. Hits off the woodwork. Rossboro in the perfect spot. Mercado gets a piece of it. Last time they hit it into the wall. Sukata bending and punched up and over. Great save by Aiden Stokes. Corner for Orlando City. Rebels looking for back to back wins. Orlando City B win this in their last six. Now here against Copeland, Berkeley. That's gonna be his second yellow card of the game. Just two shots on target in this game for Orlando City B. Their subs now will come on for Orlando. Justin Ellis will come on. 
Gets to go ahead. Almaguer, back post, not it down! Bicycle opportunity, Solis! Freeman up ahead. Ellis steps through. Ellis gets an equalizer in stoppage time. How about that for Justin Ellis finding a late goal in stoppage time for the visitors. Justin Ellis' second goal. Dembele slots it over. Valencia! What a moment that could have been for Omar Valencia after returning from Copa America play. Great ball over by Dembele, right into the path of Valencia. Just a touch wide. Maybe one final kick here. And there is, no, nope, we will not blow the whistle dead. Two balls on the field as Mercado was grabbing a ball for the goal kick. And now we'll resume play. Solis. Out wide. Back to Solis. Good give and go action. And there is the whistle and we will go to a shootout. Mind games on both sides. Solis off the crossbar. Went right down the middle but sends it high. And so Lees hits the woodwork. Oh, well, he had Stokes guessing the wrong way. I couldn't tuck it under the crossbar. And now it'll be Curtis Afori who came on as a sub for Julian Hall in the second half. Outside back will have the opportunity. Here comes the 18-year-old. Ofori hesitates and gets it by Mercado. Right down the middle. Executed what Solis could not. Mercado standing his line. Might have went earlier as well. Ofori able to get the goal and put the home side up. One here in the second round of the shootout. And now it'll be Alex Freeman, the 19-year-old. Freeman with two goals on the season, steps up. Stokes, outstretched arms. Freeman goes left corner and converts for Orlando City. And chance for the Red Bulls to regain the lead here in the shootout. Jarvis, this time hits. Went the same direction this time, diving the wrong way was Mercado. See Jarvis walking off a little frustrated. At first attempt, just no pace behind it. This time, slots it through with ease. More power that time for Jarvis. Second time a charm right there for the youngster. Shakur Muhammad now will step up. The team's leading goal scorer for Orlando City. Seven goals on the year. Former number two overall pick out of Duke. Stokes yet to make a save. The low miss coming off the crossbar. Muhammad runs up, slots at right corner. Play a pace. Stokes guessing the wrong way. Mohamed converting with ease. So now it'll be Malik Dembele. 
Bailey on the season does have one goal. The 20-year-old out of Ghana. Dembele coming into this game. Had three straight games with an assist. Had contributed five goals in his last six appearances. Trying to contribute here in the shootout. The hesitation. Dembele hits. Dembele going to the right. A little hesitation. Nothing Mercado could do. Watches it fly by. So now Fabian Loyola will step up. Loyola, part of MLS Next All-Star Game in 2022. Does have two goals on the season. He's the MVP of the 2022 MLS Next Pro All-Star Game. The 20-year-old out of Orlando, Florida. Loyola. A little hop, skip, and a jump, and he hits. Michigan, 22 years old out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. O'Connor knocks it through. Has not scored on the season, but a chance here from the spot. Williams gets it to go. Just one save here in the shootout. That came from Mercado against Sebufu. Plenty of power from Williams. And now it'll be Steven Serwata. Serwata, one goal on the season for the 21-year-old out of Uganda. Serwata gets it by. Cramps in the process. So Serwata able to convert and then goes down to the ground. Gets it by Mercado. And once again, a chance here for Orlando City B to keep the shootout alive. If Orlando City B misses, the game will be over. The extra point award to New York Red Bulls. And now it'll be the other center back, Nabi Kibunguchi. Kibiguchi, 26 years old, out of Elk Grove, California. Kibiguchi, oh, goes up and over, and New York Rebels get the extra point in the shootout at home. Kibiguchi goes up and over the crossbar, would have got it right by Stokes.